that I can do with the object identification. One is called non -stand, converting non-standard object to the standard object. I am going to tools, under tools, object identification. I selected that object identification. I landed up onto this page. This is the object identification page. In this page, the environment that you see here is nothing but an add-in. Don't confuse yourself. There is called environment parameter and that environment parameter is not same as that this environment. This environment what you see now is nothing but an add-in. Now I'll go to the standard windows add-in. In this standard windows add-in you can see now there is called user defined. This user defined is the one which will help you to configure non-standard object to the standard object. That is one of the role of object identification. You can see the left hand side there are classes here. These classes are the standard classes. If you see every add-in, I'll go to say for example, I'll go to web add-in. These are all the standard classes of the web add-in. Browser class, frame class, image class, link, page, web, web area, web button, web checkbox, web edit. These are all, all the web prefix indicates that these are all the objects recognized using web add-in. So if you see, notice here, the user defined is disabled here. That means you are not allowed to convert a non-standard object. I was talking to you, web element is a non-standard object. But even though I recognize a web element as a non-standard, I am not allowed to convert that web element to the other standard. So that is why user defined is not enabled. If I take another control, say for example, I will take it as a .NET dotnet windows form so dotnet windows form these are all the standard classes of a dotnet sw so here it is again swf object this object is a non standard object and you cannot convert this again to a another user defined another standard object so for what you can convert is only for the standard windows add in you can convert the object Otherwise, you cannot convert the object. So, only if object is recognized as a win object, there is a possibility for you to convert that win object into a standard object, other standard objects. Right? So, this is first you have to be clear with. So, all non-standard cannot be converted. The non-standard you recognized as a win object can be converted into a standard object. Right? How to convert it is what we are going to see. I will take the same example that is that flight reservation. In that flight reservation the data flight you and me know that it is a edit box. I want that edit that control MS mass window class is the class name. I want that class name to be control uh, converted. Right? So as I said earlier, standard objects are nothing but as I develop, I developed as a button, I recognize as a button. So the native class and object class, any one of the class has to match to the QTP class. If it is matching, then it is called standard. If the class name is not part of the standard classes, you can see now what you see in the left hand side test object classes. These are all the classes created by the QTP add-in and these classes are called standard classes. That MS mass window class, I, I think people sometimes they come late as well. Anyway, now standard class here. In this now, I select this data flight. In this data flight, if I select the class name that you see MS mass window class is not part of the standard. So it is not in this list, the left hand side, the ba background, you can see object identification window. In that you can see the list, in this list, MS mass window class is not part of the class. That is why it is called as a non-standard class. So I can map a non-standard class to any class provided 
even if it is a wrong you can map it to a rank class so what you need to know here is ms mass window class you know what is the class you need to map to you should know so in my case i know this ms mass window class is a single line edit so i now click on single line edit that means i am mapping now ms mass class to a single line edit and i select this add adding that class to my list and you can see now ms mass window class is now mapped to a single line edit class so these are all already mapped non standard classes to a standard classes by qtp these are all available non standard classes left hand side sys date time pick 32 it is mapped to the calendar class list view 20 window class is mapped to the list view please note here we are mapping the class name not the object name so that once you map it now i say okay you can now see in the part of standard class you can see now the ms mass window class is part of the standard class now so then we call this as self is a standard class now i spy it i say okay now i'll say spy spy on that same object again now are you able to notice now that it is now recognized as a win edit are you able to notice this yes means raise your hand now you can see now it is a recognized as a win edit so this is an indicator that an object is a non standard object can be made as a standard object so it is possible so now in future if you record the script or anything it will recognize as a win edit so even though the class name here is native class is ms mass window class object class is ms mass window class even though the class name is not part of an edit but he we are making him to recognize as a win edit this is how you convert a non standard object to a standard object very useful feature if you are working with a windows application if you are not working with the windows application this feature may not be useful at all right i say okay now i'll redo it i want to remove it go to tools where i can select the non stand convert i go to object identification in this object identification i choose the add in i know that only standard windows add in have a option to convert a non standard to a standard i have chosen the add in now i go to the user defined because user defined is the place where all the non standard objects are stored i now select the stand non standard class that i have created i delete it now i say okay after that i now delete it removed from this list if i now spy that object i spy now spy that same object now you can see that he is now recognizing as a win object he is not any longer recognized as a edit box now the property set that you see now it is of win object property set has h scroll has vertical scroll these are all exclusive properties of a generic properties of a win object win object means it is a generic object so now i convert it again go to tools go to object identification in object identification i choose the add in now after i choose the add in i go to the user defined once i click on to the user defined if you if you know the class name you can type the class name here if i don't know the class name i use the spy button that button will take me to the application i choose the object which i like to map to the no standard i select that object once i select it i'll get the class name here automatically binded it is not an object main please note the it is we are mapping it to the class name only then i see the dialog 
instead of dialog i want a single line edit please note i can map it to a wrong class as well i don't want to map it to a wrong class i want this to be treated as a single line edit i mapped it i add it once i add that i click on okay button now you can see that the ms mask is part and parcel of the object mapping window then i say okay i say select okay now you can see that that ms mask window class is appearing here the right hand side portion will come to that later i click on okay now now i like to spy that object again i click on spy spy window click on the spy select that object now you can see that he is now selecting as a win edit and if you see the property set here you can see that that horizontal scroll and all is not appearing now horizontal scroll has vertical scroll those are all not appearing because those are all non relevant properties for a win edit object is this clear now this is one of the role of 